Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Let's just start at the top and work our way down. I've got a list. Um, how many? 18, 20, something like that. It's a list. We're going to try and do the speed run. Um, we're going to try and get through this quickly. I don't want to drag Popo's out tonight. Frankly, I'd really kind of like to... Oh, God, my fucking uh, callus. Um, I'd really like to get to something else. Anything else I'd love to get to. Um, so, first up, San Diego. Ah, oh, San Diego. So, this one's recent. <clears throat> um, <sighs> neighbors, dispatch records, 911 call stamps, and v surveillance video evidence all gathered by the local fucking news, uh, news station, NBC7, in case you're wondering. Um, Jesus Christ, this website is broken. Um, all show that a woman called 911 for help 12 hours 12 hours prior okay around 7 p.m. the night before two neighbors called 911 reporting a man banging on this woman's door screaming over the next hour five more calls rolled into 911 no officers dispatched after 8 p.m. neighbors heard and saw something that prompted dispatchers to speed up the police response speed up fuck off they finally fucking did something he climbed onto her balcony and uh, um, broke through her glass door um breaking into her apartment there was an active fucking like home invasion happening at that point person on the phone said hey there's like an active burglary happening i'm looking at him through the window he's entered through the second story sliding glass door he pu busted out the door fucking the dispatcher This is what's recorded on the background. I've never heard somebody that angry in my life. He's running so hard. I think he might break through the ceiling. He's going to kill her. Yeah, it's San Diego. Yeah, it's San Diego, Carpe. Fucking at that point, dispatch records show the call was upgraded to a higher priority. And the officers began staging in a parking lot nearby. 45 minutes after that, they arrived at the woman's door and knocked on it. So they finally show up. 45 minutes in, the cops finally, well, 45 minutes into them staging. At this point, it's now several hours into the incident. Right? Um, several hours into the incident. They walk up and they knock on the door. At this point, the neighbor said, like, what, what, what are they doing? What, what, what's happening? Like, you know, fucking... Do something. <sighs> they walk up. They knock on the door. They look around. The neighbor comes out and points to the unit and say he's in there. They nod their heads. So they flashed their light, seeing the broken glass on the ground. They then tried calling the woman's phone, looked for her car, but since she didn't answer the phone, they left. The next morning, before eight, just before 8.30 a.m., the dude came outside and told the neighbor she's dead. Minutes later, the police arrest him. For over 12 hours... The police, the San Diego Police Department sat by and did nothing while there was a confirmed home invader in a woman's apartment actively murdering her. They just sat by and did nothing for 12 hours until, remember, he came out and announced he had killed her. At no point did they even resolve the situation after it was resolved. 
They just sat by and fucking let it all happen. So please, again, please, 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 God, please, G baby Jesus, golden baby Jesus on a lamb's wool, golden baby white Jesus with blue eyes and blonde hair and uh, an eight pack on baby Jesus. Fucking like, I, I need you to send me like a cavalcade of cop supporters right now. I need bootlickers galore. Fucking a woman. Fucking A. They just sat outside doing nothing for fucking 12 hours, basically. Oh, dude, I'd have fucking handled him. Are you kidding me? The neighbors could have shot him. It's California. I don't know what their rules are. Here in Nevada, we could have handled that. If somebody fucking did a home invasion in my neighbor's place and I, I saw that there was a physical threat to their well-being, that's 100% a justified shooting. 100% a justified shooting. Dude, in, in Arizona, if I think you're fucking kidnapping a kid, I can put a fucking round in you. I'm not kidding you. Like, dude. Oh. Nah. Hours. Hours. It started at 7 p.m. the night before and resolved... And by resolved, I mean she, he left the apartment and she was dead at just before 8.30 a.m. So like 13 and a half hours, basically. Cops did just nothing. For hours, they couldn't even get the cops to fucking respond, let alone do something. Yeah, they couldn't even fucking get them there. Oh. Uh... With her. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. is 12. Yeah, there we go. Um, pretty sure I could castle doctrine a cop here as long as I survived. They didn't have a legitimate warrant. Yeah, yeah, Rev, 100%. Was it one of their own? No, of course not. I banned you and then unbanned you again because we're busy doing something. And frankly, I don't have time for bootlicking cowardly, small, oh, small, limp, dick, pathetic, little deranged human beings who don't have the courage, the ovaries, the fucking balls to get on air and actually have a conversation. So you little Russian fucking dick sucking piece of garbage can fuck right off. Anyway, moving on. It is. It does caboose. Um. So, do we have? Yes, we do. So, do we have video? I'd love video of it. Ugh. Trinity player is activated. Why, why are you St. Louis Post Dispatch? Fuck your webpage. Um, I swear to God, does anybody? There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. All news sites are nice. Uh, all news sites are fucking garbage. And Reddit is the only solution. Apparently. Absolute garbage shit. Fucking websites. All they ever do is include a fucking screenshot of some fucking video. And whose fucking logo is on this fucking video? I swear to God, I'm going to fucking lose my shit today. Either way, here's a video of hospital security guards detaining a man. You might notice something, I don't know, out in particular about him. Um, I don't know. White shoes? Could that be it? Anyway, here's a man who's um, about to have a little incident here. 
Okay. He's being accused of casing a parking garage. Now, he's at a hospital. Security at a hospital has accused this man of casing the parking garage, and this is why they are attacking him. So you know, he's a patient. He's receiving treatment for kidney failure. So they beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Is he okay? No, he's in a weakened state, um, and he's not doing well as a result of the beating. No, he's not doing well. No, he's not okay. He's, he was in kidney failure to start with. His body's struggling to maintain itself. Taking a beating on top of that is not going to help. Arrested for being in a hospital while black. No, oh, beaten. Tackled. Use the for one of them used their forearms to smash his head into the wall. I'm not kidding you. They fucking kicked the shit out of him. <sighs> Is she? Is, he died. He fucking died. Okay. See, I'm not aware that he finally died. I knew he'd been struggling, but yeah, he, uh, according to Marcus, who I trust on this matter, he, fu apparently he died, which makes sense. The Barnes Jewish hospital in St. Louis. Yeah. They, they killed a, a kidney patient, a black kill a kidney patient because he was black straight up, which I mean, again, you know, as much as we defend the Jewish people against anti-Semitism in this world, cops plus Jewish people equals a whole lot of racism because the Jewish diaspora is really fucking racist. They tend not to outwardly do it, but try and marry into a Jewish family as somebody who isn't Jewish. Just go ahead and try and do that. Right? Like, dude, there's, there's all sorts of problems on this one. Dude, Jewish hospital, fucking private security, fucking cops, black man. Uh, angry. Good luck. Um, couldn't even wait to harvest the organs. I know, right? Oh. Now, let's move on to the next one. Another incident in a hospital. At least this time, the hospital didn't directly cause it. Oh, look, a cop beating up a female black EMT. Shocking. I'm so shocked. Oh, I'm so shocked. He's arresting her. Oh, what a, what a, what a fucking coincidence. Oh, it's fucking. If you're wondering what's going on here, the cop parked in the fucking ambulance bay and got his car dinged because he's a fucking idiot who parked in the fucking ambulance bay. Where he isn't supposed to be. There was, according to what I've heard from people who work at this hospital, there's approximately 20, 20 parking spaces for police cars at the facility. Dedicated slots for the cop cars. Cop parked in the ambulance bay. Personally, I'd have fucking brought a fire, a fire truck in and fucking pushed it right the fuck out of the way. Just smashed it, which fire uh, firefighters have been known to do before. But because he parked his stupid fucking pig cruiser in the fucking ambulance bay, the ambulance had to fucking work with it. And apparently they dinged his door, like literally dinged it. It's not even a fucking dent. It's they did the best they could. But this dumbass parked in the fucking fire uh, in the uh, ambulance bay. And so they fucking hit it. He comes inside and uh, fucking slams the fucking EMT up against the wall and arrests her on stage sight Rochester New York if you're wondering Rochester New York again another New York cop thirst responder <laughs> fucking 
It's not in his personal. Oh, you, but it's his ego, Red. It's his ego. It may not be his personal car, but it's his ego. Fucking, yeah. She wanted to take care of her patient before she dealt with the, yes, the authority junkie, small dick fucking piece of garbage human being that is all cops. <sighs> can I get an uh, image address on this one? Yes, I can. What do you mean fucking American cops? Fucking, you're Canadian. Your cops are just as bad, if not... I mean... Fucking... Midnight rides for the indigenous... Uh, indigenous women? Sound familiar? Like, cops. Stop doing this American cop shit. Canadian cops are just as fucking dumb and just as fucking violent and just as fucking dangerous to brown people. Yeah, ever seen RCMP deal with uh, pipeline protesters? Yes, sir, Bob Dixie. All right, so everyone meet Desmond Ricks. This is Desmond Ricks. He was released from prison in 2017 after 25 fucking years in prison. Why, Kai? Why did this man spend 25 years in prison? Whatever did he do? He must have been a horrible, violent, terrible human being. Oh, wait, what? The police switched bullets to murder uh, to uh, pin a murder on him in 1992? The police literally framed him by switching the evidence. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so how much is this going to cost the taxpayers other than the 25 years that it's already cost Mr. Ricks of his life that we can't possibly pay back? It cost the taxpayers $7.5 million. Who, who, by the way, which taxpayers? Detroit, Detroit. How's Detroit's budget? Can Detroit um, afford seven and a half million dollars to be just dropped on a bunch of fucking moron cops who are racist, bigoted, garbage human beings who should be well and truly handled. These fuckers should be run through the same process he got run through. I want lift your sack, spread your cheeks, everything he got, the cops... The, uh, the uh, prosecutor, the district attorney, and the judge. And frankly, maybe even some of the jury members. I want a fucking examination of the jury. Did we know? Was there, uh, was there evidence of? Was it held back from the jury? Is this one of those impaneled, all-white, racist juries? Maybe the jury needs fucking thrown in, too. All I know is Mr. Ricks here is missing 25 years of his life and the taxpayers of Detroit are now missing seven and a half million dollars because the cops, again, literally switched evidence in the case to frame this man. Oh, where are the cops from the case? Retired, Dig. They're retired. Yeah. They didn't even match the caliber. They didn't match the caliber. The rounds that they accused him of expending didn't match the gun that they said was his, which wasn't even in his possession, and was at his mother's house. It didn't even match the caliber. Hence my questions about the jury. Does the jury need a little experience with this too? <clears throat> Yeah, they didn't match the caliber. They matched the color. <sighs> Deep breath. Everybody, everybody. 
in through your nose, out through your mouth. Oh, Carpe, that's my guess, but I, I don't know because there's been too many fucking lynching juries impaneled in my time, so I can't be sure. So I have to just second guess everything. If, if I was betting man, Carpe, that's the safe bet. Yes, that's the safe bet that the, the evidence was disallowed. But with as many ju- lynching journey, uh, ju- uh, juries have been impaneled in our country and in our history, I'm not buying it. I'm not, I'm not certain. And 25 years counting a murderer runs around free. Yep. Well, Solorio, this is the headline that I had to take a break. I had to take a breath for. Carpe, the murderer is probably a cop anyway, so. Okay, here's the headline. Fuck the headline. Here's the headline. Here's the headline. Denver police committed a mass shooting over the weekend. Denver police thought, we still don't have this confirmed, thought they saw a guy maybe reach for a gun. Maybe. Maybe. We have no confirmation on this. None. They thought they saw a guy reach for his waistband. And so the police decided to fucking mag dump in his general direction and shot three women and two men. Bystanders, all of them. Denver police committed a mass shooting this weekend. Four people is a mass shooting. They got five. That's why I took a breath. That's why I needed a moment. (laughs) Because, oh, I think I'm just going to, I feel you, man. I feel you. Um, I feel you. I'm just going to do it. Um, yeah, I I don't even, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't have anything for you beyond that. They claim that they, 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 he, he, he reached for a gun. He may have pointed a gun at them. No gun was found, by the way. Uh, fucking. Cops claimed a dude drew, uh, reached and they opened up and they ended up shooting a group of people. Three women, two men. They, uh, they survived. They survived because cops are fucking the worst fucking. If cops can't deliver 19 rounds in you, they usually can't kill you because cops fucking aim is the worst fucking aim in all of firearmsdom. American police are the, the most incompetent. The most incompetent. And we'll go over this since we did Uvalde last week, but it wasn't a part of Popo's. We will go over the Sewell position again this week for those that fucking, sorry, for those that have seen it, heard me rant about this. American police are the, 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 the worst firearms handlers in the world. There are 12-year-old African child soldiers who 100% can field strip a fucking AK-47 and do a cleaning and a reassembly in under fucking 30 minutes. A fucking pig in America doesn't even know which way the fucking gun points. I'm not exaggerating at this point. I'm not exaggerating. So many cops have shot themselves accidentally. I mean, so many cops have shot themselves, but... I don't see that as a problem. They've shot themselves accidentally. Like, it, it, it's, it's insane. So, yes, yes. Denver PD committed a mass shooting. Yeah, taser, taser. Oh, God. That dumb cunt. Fucking... Let's just drag him in maybe that way. Yeah, probably Carpe. Are you sure that wasn't a Key and Peele skit? I think I saw that one. Um, 
Uh, caboose. Yes. For these guys, yes. Yeah. For these guys, it's really, really fucking difficult. Oh, we'll, uh, you know what? I'll skip that one. I'll end on it. Speaking of, uh, speaking of the, our favorite 40%, um, North Las Vegas Police Department had a police officer who, tragically, it's, it's always sad. <sighs> North Police, uh, North, uh, North Las Vegas Police Officer um, Darwin awarded himself. He fucking shot himself, fought, shot his fucking daughter in, the, uh, in a domestic uh, disturbance, um, fucking uh, shot his wife and shot his, uh, his teenage son. The woman and the teenage son survived. The daughter did not. Uh, when when uh, the cops finally showed up, what they found was a dead pig and a dead pig's daughter and a wounded wife and a wounded son. Confirmed. It's confirmed. It's a fucking, it's another fucking pig cop fucking doing what they do and fucking harming those around them. So... Yes, the tragic incident. Our heart goes true. This is the NVL, uh, NLVPD um, informa public information officer's quote. Our hearts truly go out to the family, and we offer our decent, deepest condolences to all those affected. Oh, God, it really is a P Key and Peele sketch. Uh, hold on to that Viva till I'm done. <laughs> soiled uh thoughts and prayers yep thoughts and prayers that's what i got okay y'all ready are y'all ready everybody seen skater versus cop biker versus cop okay i hate these fucking um all right those sh Everybody seen skater versus cop. Everybody seen skater versus cop. Biker versus cop. Crazy lady versus cop. But no one's ever seen cop versus cop. Well, here's a video of a police sergeant pulling someone over, giving them a ticket. When a sheriff's deputy comes over to the truck that was stopped, and then the fun part happened. Go pull the video at Valero. You get on my traffic stop again, I will arrest you. Yeah, I'll arrest you. Do it, buddy. And we're gonna do it. Charge you. Do it. Your do it, at. Do it, Ernie. Wait for it. Do it. There's cameras at Valero, and there's cameras at Napa. The seats pulled out. Shut your mouth. If you don't talk to me like that, I'm not your boy. Um, I do, but unfortunately I hate those shorts. I hate the music in the background. I hate that format. I hate everything about YouTube shorts and TikTok format. The video makes it impossible to play it without a fucking copyright strike. The fucking video format is garbage. I fucking hate all that shit. I fucking hate that shit. Fuck YouTube shorts. Fuck TikTok and fuck everybody who uses them there. I'm fucking over this shit, dude. And if I have to hear that God awful voice from TikTok one more time, that robot voice from fucking TikTok is the world's worst TTS. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, TikTok. I hate the stupid fucking music. I hate the stupid fucking voice. I hate the stupid fucking format. I hate the stupid fucking platform. I hate the stupid fucking people that are okay with giving everybody your information, including the Chinese government. For fuck's sake, why is this platform alive? Stop using it. Jesus, goddamn Christ. <sighs> this is why you shouldn't have kids. Kids suck. Um... I'm just gonna fucking Former play. Oh, shoot. shut the fuck up. Nobody gives a shit about you. Just show me this asshole's face. There he is. There he is. Former Weisport police chief sentenced for child rape. 
good old, good old former police chief in Carbon County, Pennsylvania, sentenced for being uh, sentenced for uh, sentenced for uh, repeatedly raping a child. Brilliant, brilliant, fucking. Uh, let's see how many times. Um, involuntary deviant sexual intercourse with a child, rape of a child, aggravated indecent assault of a child, and several other related charges following the jury trial. Uh, he's got a co-defendant because he and his buddy decided to rape children for multiple years. That's a chief of police, by the way. Whatever would we do without police? I have no idea. <sighs> yes. Yeah, Gord, I have seen him before. Another one for the long, 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 long list. I have considered putting it on a scroll on the screen and just having it fly by at like light speed. I may just like, I just just key the fucking button. Um, Car accident. You say that child should have had a gun. Well, good news, everyone. Um, A a fucking four-year-old shot at police in Utah. Officers in Salt Lake City, um, Utah, were trying to, they were busy arresting the child's father for threatening a drive through worker. When, quote, this is a quote by the police, the child somehow got a hold of a gun and the child started shooting at the cops. Four-year-old magics a fucking gun out of thin air in the middle of a fucking uh, uh, fast food restaurant and just starts popping rounds off at the fucking cops. So there you go. There's that one. Rabbit, how was the kid's aim? He didn't hit shit. He didn't hit shit except the wall, the ceiling. He didn't hit shit. Better shot than the cops. <laughs> oh, let's get this guy's picture. Cause this story is just, oh, I am earning my fucking, my weed today. I am earning my weed. <laughs> Rabbit. I mean, four years of age, you don't have the hand and the forearm strength and the, the like uh, upper, uh, upper uh, arm strength to like hold the gun steady. It just goes flying all over the place. Four years, a- four years of age is too young. That's why, you know, like African child soldiers are usually 12, right? Like by 12, you can usually hold an AK for a little bit. At least you can get it up and fire it and get it up and fire it sort of thing. You can lay it on stuff. 12 is about where, you know, you start recruiting your child soldiers for firearms usage. Yeah, four four is a little young. Um, did I miss something? <laughs> okay. Um, we had an incident of why don't you give little kids Uzi's nine year old killed her dad at a tourist shooting range. Yeah, I remember that one. That was it. Was that was an interesting one. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, this is Andrew Teckel Sundberg. Okay, this is Andrew Teckel Sundberg. <sighs> he's dead. He's, he's a black man in, in, in Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Dude, you know what's more dangerous than being a black man in a horror movie? Being a black man during Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Dude. Popo's with our adventures, like, if I show a picture of a black man on screen, homie dead. Right? Like, homie dead. <laughs> fucking, dude, there's nothing more dangerous in this world, I don't think, than being a black man on fucking Proud Radicals, Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Like, that's that's a fucking thing. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Um, in all fairness, they could just be permanently paralyzed. <laughs> True. Okay, so let me introduce you to Andrew Teckel uh, Teckel Sunderberg. Andrew Teckel Sunderberg was in an apartment complex on July 14th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've never had any problems with Minneapolis PD, have we? Any? Any? Does anybody remember any? I don't. I don't remember any problems with Minneapolis PD. Anyway, so <clears throat> he was shot not by not by one, but by two. All right. Good. Uh, good luck, Solario. 
Um, fucking, he was not shot by one, but two, count them, two separate police snipers. Uh, officers Aaron Pearson and Zachary Serafin. Um, we don't know why they shot him. We know why they shot him, but we don't know why they shot him. We, we, we know the circumstances that led up to the incident of the shooting. Uh, you have a better survival rate of going into a basement by yourself in a horror film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, rabbits, snipers, snipers, actual snipers. Um, so here's what happened. Officers responded at 9.30 p.m. Wednesday um, of a re- with a report of shots fired inside an apartment building on the 900 block of 21st Avenue South in Minneapolis. A couple blocks east of Cedar, Cedar Avenue, right? Responding officers cl- said that they encountered more gunfire as they arrived the scene. So they began to evacuate people in the building and requested a SWAT team. <sighs> At some point in this case, this man tried to leave the building. And that was it. He tried to leave the building and get across the street. What's up, sweet? That's it. That's what happened. This man wasn't, this, this, this wasn't, he, wa- he wasn't the guy. He, they didn't know if it was the guy. They had no idea. He had no guns on him. He wasn't fucking f- like guns akimbo fucking shit out here. He didn't come busting through the front doors screaming, yippee ki motherfuckers, t- you can't take me alive. Pew, 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 right? This motherfucker tried to get out of the building that they were evacuating people from and they shot him. Fuck, man, you literally can't even leave your house while black. No witnesses is with her. Yeah. Uh, fatal welcome. We covered Denver already. Um, we, we already hammered those idiots. Oh. Can I, is this? Oh, good. I have video for this one. On the news article? Who is this? Delaware Online. Look at you, Delaware. Oh, yeah. So I, I, like I said, was that Denzel movie where the bad guys disguised themselves as hostages? Oh, is that the one where he like, um, like, uh, precinct 13 or some shit like that? Precincts 11 or something like that. Is that that, that one? I don't fucking know, man. All I know is this poor brother tried to get out of his fucking house while the police SWAT raided the apartment building and inside, man, I I don't fucking know. There's been so many Denzel movies where, you know, I don't even know. Um, Rabbit, you mean the, uh, the, the convenience store? Yeah. Okay. No, we haven't, we haven't covered that one yet. I, I, you know, I, we can, we can speed run that one. Look, we're done with that guy. Kansas city fucking dude gets tackled by the fucking look. You don't, none of this matters. None of the fucking wind up matters. Like literally none of it matters. Kansas city dudes getting arrested by the fucking popo. Cops dogpile him. Some dumb cunt of a fucking police officer standing uh, standing by the side. Fucking one of the cops. Fuck. <sighs> one of the cops believes that somebody's gun is being mistakenly gone for. Right? Cop shoots another cop on accident. And then... Because of gunfire, 
they think he's shooting them. So they execute this dude who, as Rabbit has pointed out, six cops are holding down with three standing nearby. Okay, so a cop shoots another cop and all the cops freak out and execute the fucking uh, guy on the floor that they're holding there. I forget which dumb fuck cop ended up pulling the trigger, but yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. And let me just add it to the list since we covered it. Oh, I swear to fucking God. It's going to kill me doing fucking Popo's Bizarre Adventures. It's going gonna, it's gonna to kill me. This is going to be the death of me is this segment. You know that, right? Like, you notice we didn't do one last week. I couldn't. I couldn't do it last week. I couldn't. This fucking segment is going to be the death of me. My, my blood pressure night right now, like, I run low. My, I familiarly, my mom and I both run low, uh, blood pressure wise. I'm usually like, if I'm super stressed out, I'm like 110 over 85, right? Fucking, I guarantee my blood pressure is like 125 over a hundred or some shit. Like I, this thing did popos is going to fucking kill me. All right. So let's go ahead and view the next one. That's absolutely going to piss all of us off to the nth degree. Uh, so here's Newcastle. Um, here's, uh, here's Delaware, <clears throat> Newcastle County. Um, the video was released. <laughs> You're diastolic though. Yeah, no, it's going through the roof for this shit. I guarantee it. Um, they released the video. Uh, the, the person on the floor, if you're wondering, is 16 years old and a girl, if that matters to you, it's a 16 year old girl. Um, here's a police corporal. <laughs> oh, beast. Courtesy of Newcastle County Police. We had to fucking drag it out of their asses. Had to drag it out of them. Oh, look. Oh, look. Total, totally cool. Totally cool. Totally cool. No, this is, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is, this is great. No, this is dope. Def, to, totally. This is totally appropriate. This is totally appropriate. For sure. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, let's get her out. Do I need to say anything about that? Oh, that's a dude dig. That's not even close to what they did in Guantanamo. If you ever want to see what they actually did in Guantanamo dig, I've got all the pictures. I want all the pictures that the public can have. I've got them. I've got the entire compendium. It's, it's bad. It's bad, bad. It's like, I cannot even begin to show them on stream. Yeah, we can, we can go over them sometime. If you guys like on discord or something. Yeah. If you want to see the, the fucking Gitmo photos, I've got them. I've got the, 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 dis like the dissert, uh, the, uh, fucking dissertation, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I've got the descriptions. I've got the fucking testimony. I've got like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Um, oh, car. It's nothing that you haven't seen before then. hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, the only thing, the only thing I can say, uh, uh apropos of that last video he, he pleaded guilty. He pleaded guilty. Um, oh, Queensland, Queensland, Queensland. Oh, Queensland. C 
Queensland was having a commission of inquiry into their police um, because they've had some issues. I'm being generous by saying issues, of course. Um, an officer gave testimony before the commission. <clears throat> and some of the highlights of the group of police officers um, that were tasked with and responsible for handling domestic violence and rape calls within Australia. Um, we have some interesting quotes. Deserve to be raped. Surprise sex. Domestic violence is just foreplay. She's too ugly to be raped. I can see why he does it to her. Cunty McCunt face. Fucking sluts. Bitches deserve it. Oh, let's see. And when, when asked about potential uh, fixes... The reply was, they need more training. Quote, we need more tr police training. We need to be co-locating -loc with domestic violence services so survivors feel safe. <laughs> Public. No, this is the Queensland investigation in Australia into the, why the Queens, uh, Queensland police um, have such, an, uh, such a problem with actually investigating, solving, and convicting rapists. Oh, could it be because the entire Queensland Police Department sans apparently one person is pro-rape? Sensitivity training. Make them hug each other. Exactly. It's code for we need to be paid more, right? That's my new name for cops. Cunty McCunt face. Yeah, oh, I know, public, right? Uh, so, you know, I mean, yeah. Uh, according to the officer who testified before the commission, anytime, quote, when, when I made further inquiries into domestic violence incidents and updated reports with crucial information that had been left out or described in vague terms, colleagues became angry with me and he was cited for disciplinary uh, reasons. So the one cop, the one cop who's willing to testify before the commission, the one cop who's willing to investigate the rapes, the one what was this cop's experience on the police department? They tried to drum him out of the police department. No good cops. Oh, I think I have to pull that car bay. Oh, is he still alive? He's still alive because he's dealing with Australian cops, not American cops. If he were dealing with Australian cops, he'd be dead. 100%. Yeah. Oh, and I can tell you right now, I watched... I watched about approximately 20 people come and go over the last, say, 10 stories, and they run. I'm not kidding you. I've been watching this live with my own fucking, like, widget in, that's integrated into Twitch, right? I watched them fucking just 15 so far. It's I say 15-ish because numbers update weirdly and slowly sometimes so but yeah about 15 people in the last 10 minutes just oh can't handle can't hang just fyi uh nice boss i know right rev <sighs> so everybody remember um <laughs> uh, everybody remember um hey bush um 
What mar- uh which marijuana thing? Anyway, um everybody remember the kid, the fucking baby who got um flashbanged by G- Georgia Georgian police? Everybody remember that shit? Um Oh, rabbit is hilarious. If I go on rants that aren't copper rants, I could easily pull 75 to 100. I've been doing it recently, no problem, right? It, people love me ranting, but if I rant about cops, there's a chunk that just will not. It's hilarious. Um, okay, so there were no indictments for the Georgia SWAT team um, whatsoever. And now, as a result of that, when the state grand jury declined to turn, return an indictment, the next day, federal prosecutors have stepped in and said, we'll be reviewing this case. Just like the other case in Georgia where we had to take it out of their hands because they had a lynching and their prosecution decided that lynchings are not prosecutable in the state of Georgia, apparently. So, yes, we've had to take this one out of Georgia's hands as well because, again, you can't trust a Southerner to investigate something that, that involves cops or somebody who's even remotely, vaguely, tenuously beige, let alone an actual shade of brown or black. I can't answer that question. Oh. <sighs> And I can't play this fucking, I can't play this fucking video for you because it's got a nine-year-old getting shot. Here's what I can do. Fucking, there you go. Um, Cops respond to a suicide, uh, to a, a mental health call. Man is having a suicide, a suicidal incident. Wife calls the cops. Fucking cops show up. Um, he's self threatening self harm while they're there. One, uh, one of the fucking cops decides to, Oh, whether your, your link, um, yeah, I've found it on Reddit. Um, fucking, um, one of the cops gets spooked by the dog. The dog, who is not a fucking military-trained German shepherd fucking barking at the end of a chain trying to fucking, like, murder this fucking cop. The dog went, yip, basically. And the cop got spooked. So the cop fucking spins around, basically, and tries to shoot the fucking dog. What does it do? It, it. it. I'm just going to call all cops it now. Cops aren't even fucking... I'm just going to start calling cops it. Cops aren't people. They're it's from now on. Fuck this. What does the cop do? It spins around and just starts fucking firing. No, it didn't. No, no, it didn't shoot the wife, Carpe. It shot the nine-year-old daughter. Shot the nine-year-old daughter. Didn't kill her. Didn't kill her. Didn't kill her. But, yeah, cop fucking, yeah, bang. Nine-year-old. Don't respect it like that. Yeah, that's, that's, there you go. Fucking, um, the judge presiding over the, um, the felony aggravated battery trial um, who was presiding over the case said the shooting was justified. The, the family is having to appeal to the Kansas Supreme court now because the judge who, again, judges, they're cops, prosecutors, they're cops. They're all fucking cops. The judge said it was justified. So there you go. So, you know, Amazon's just been turning over ring video data to all the cops, right? Yeah, Amazon finally admitted it. Yeah, of course they do. Um, And welcome, sub. Um, Yeah, they finally admitted it. But Amazon has been handing over ring video data footage. Um... Without owner's permissions. Shocking. 
shocking. I, I for one, as a lifetime IT guy, am terribly shocked. Oh, yeah, 100%. Squid, any cloud service security system is doing the same thing. 100%. 100%. So just know, Ring, Ring is just, ha- Amazon's just handing data over to the fucking cops. Just, just know that. Oh. Voss, you've seen Ring footage a thousand times at this point online. So, let's talk about Madeline Gur- Gurley. Oh, because they're fucking hypocrite, uh, hypocrites. Take. Let's talk about Madeline Gurley. Um, no, it's not. It's garbage. It fucking is an open platform where your data isn't secure and your privacy is being violated on a regular basis by its, uh, by its hosting platform. And it's coordinating with the fucking feds. No, it's not a very good product. It's garbage. It's fucking Orwellian dog shit that you pay for. Hey, police, could you spy on me, please? Also, I'd love to pay for the privilege of being spied on by you. It's a garbage product. Um, so anyway, let's talk about Madeline, Madeline Gurley. Madeline Gurley is a woman from Australia. <sighs> she was traveling from Australia to Canada. She planned a house, sit, house and cat sit. She was getting free accommodations. Right? No big deal. She's a 32-year-old 32, 32 woman. She's got a travel blog. She fucking, she's been all over the world. She, she you know, she, uh, she, um, she's used to travel. She's a professional traveler at this point. Right? <sighs> well, during her stop in Los Angeles on June 30th, the border officials became, a, became suspicious as to why she was traveling to Canada. Well, what were they suspicious about, you may ask? Because their line of questioning would probably elaborate and elucidate what exactly they were curious about, right? Well, after she was photographed, patted down, and interrogated twice, they then began to ask whether she was pregnant As she was being moved from one detention room to the next, she again was asked, is she pregnant? When she said again she wasn't pregnant, she then asked whether she had had an abortion. She said no to that. And then a fourth question was put forth. This is her own quote. I said no. She looked at me again and said, have you recently had an abortion? So they asked her twice whether she was pregnant. They asked her twice whether she had had an abortion. Um, Anyone? Anyone? Given that Mississippi and fucking anybody seen... Anybody seen the fucking pair that got pulled over, the mother and daughter that got pulled over at the border of one, of some of the states? And the cops are asking if the daughter is pregnant now and they're separating the kids? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting how that's going. An actual fucking police, uh, police state. Who would have guessed? Oh. Uh, it's been a long time coming, public. It's been a long time coming. So, Baltimore police um, had to suspend one of their own uh, because the cop was trading oxycodone information uh, for a murder investigation and a ghost gun with members of a local criminal motorcycle club uh, in exchange for cocaine. He uh, confiscated some of the oxycodone uh, and the ghost gun from the police investigations. And so he had those to trade with the, uh, with the MC. And so he got coke for it. Um, conspiring with the president of the infamous Riders Motorcycle Club. Um, yes. Federal. It's being handled 
Federal. I know, Viva, right? I'm shocked. Oh, this guy. I don't know if I can show this guy on fucking... I don't know if I can show this legitimately. Um, I'm going to put a link in chat. Here's, here's, you're going to have to view it yourself. Um, meet, uh, meet Ter- Terrell Bradley. Feel free to click the link. No, it's going to be medical gore. Meet Terrell Bradley. Terrell Bradley is, I suppose, luckily alive, but the Gainesville PD, after pulling him over for a traffic stop, claimed that they saw a bunch of shit, and he he fled on foot. So, they did what they did, and they busted out the canine. The canine pinned him to the fucking ground, mauled his face, uh, uh, literally, like, one of his eyes had to be surgically removed. It gnawed off most of his fucking p- in, uh, pinky finger on one hand. It mauled his mouth and face and neck. Um, it absolutely fucked him up. Like, badly. Badly, badly. And of course, according to all local accounts, all the on-site accounts outside of the cops, the cops didn't do shit. The cops stood by while he uh, was mauled repeatedly by the canine. And then, of course, they didn't call EMS in an expedient fashion. They let him fucking bleed a little bit and suffer on the ground for making them work. Because that's a common thing cops do. If you make them fucking run their fat donutty asses more than three fucking feet, they punish you. And oh, this is not the first time I've experienced this. I, in fact, have met one of these assholes back years and years and years ago when I was a field tech. I got sent out to a fucking cop's, uh, a cop's house and he was a canine officer. And the first fucking day I was there while I was working on his bullshit computer, he fucking, um, he bragged to me how, uh, one of the victims of his dog was undergoing emergency surgery as we sat there. And he chuckled to himself about how badly his dog fucked him up. I've seen this firsthand, firsthand from these assholes. <sighs> so, Uvalde. Uvalde. Uvalde, Uvalde, Uvalde. Now, let me see if I can get a couple of things arranged. All right. Nope. Don't need audio. What I need. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. Um, okay, that'll work. Give me one sec. Sorry, just arranging some things. Uh, oh, Carpe. Yeah, I, I believe that. Um. Oh, nice. Dig. Um, I'll take. I'll, I'll. I'll buy one off you. If you're. If you're gonna get a couple, a few of them. Like, let me know when they're here. I'll throw you a few bucks for one. Whatever the cost is. <sighs> All right. Look, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because last week when I covered this, I did a full education. I. 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 I should have been charging for fucking firearms classes last week. I was doing such a fucking deep dive on shit. Nice. All right, Dick. For sure, for sure. Um, so we have the number now. We have the number. <sighs> 376 law enforcement officers were on site at Uvalde. 376. 100, nearly 150 Border Patrol. We, uh, 91 state police officials. And then the rest were Uvalde. 376 police officers were on site for Uvalde. The, the gunman fired 142 rounds inside the building. (laughs) 
Oh yeah, yeah, unicorn for sure. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we would talk about it. Uh, carpet. I don't know, but feel free to start searching. Um. So here's the. <sighs> How many cops does it take to stop a shooter at a school? More than three hundred and seventy, apparently. Here we go. This, <laughs> this is audible. Um. This is the piece of shit pig cop. By the way, I love this guy. This guy's my favorite guy, by the way. The one who can't keep his vest on correctly and comes scrambling down the hallway and doesn't put it on correctly in the first place and fucking, <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He didn't get hit. He keeps checking the back of his head for blood. He didn't get fucking hit. 538 students, Jesus Christ. All right. So let's watch pig cop on the right. Okay. This is our guy. This is our guy. Everybody knows this guy's the Punisher phone guy. Welcome to fire. Welcome to firearms training with Kai. All right. This is, this is what we'll be focusing on. We've got a lot of fucking problems with this. I've gone through this piecemeal. There's a lot of fucking problems with this, but this is what I want to show as my evidence. All right. Now, what Officer Pig Cop here is doing is called the Sewell position. S U L. You can see it clearly. It's a pistol like this. Now, the important thing to note about this is one, he's doing it wrong because his gut is in the way. Two, Sewell position, shoulder up, locked, okay? Elbow out, locked. 90 degree, uh, 90 degree on here, right? Hand, wrist twisted. Two axes of, diff of change difference. So to get to a target, you have to do this and this, right? Two axes of change. What is the Sewell position, Kai? The Sewell position is called such because of Sewell being Portuguese for South. Well, why do we say it in Portuguese, Kai? Because a pair of firearms trainers by the name of uh, Larson and Joseph, Brian Larson and Max Joseph, were down in Brazil training Brazilian pigs. And Brazilian pigs are barely functional, like they're barely, like they barely understand how to breathe, all right? Like you understand, like you have to put food in their mouth and move their jaw, they're so functionally retarded, all right? Like this is, the Brazilian cops are bad. So, these two trainers were in Brazil and the cops were literally muzzling and lasering everything in sight during training. So Larson and Joseph come up with the Sewell position, literally named South. So these fucking Brazilian cops would understand it. So what's unique about the Sewell position? The Sewell position locks your shoulder into place. It locks your elbow up and it points two degrees off axis, right? In this position, the only person that you can injure is yourself. You're going to shoot your foot. You're going to shoot your leg. You're going to blow your fucking dick off. You're going to shoot yourself in the gut. This is what the Sewell position is designed to do. It's designed for a three, they call it 360 degrees, but you have to ignore that. But Sewell, S-U-L, Sewell. So they come up with this idea between the two of them. They have a little little tete-a-tete, -tete, right? And they're like, how can we make it sure, make sure that we don't get shot in the back of the head by these fucking psycho cops who can't even be on a range, let alone out in public? So the two trainers come up with the Sewell position, right? Now, in firearms training, in, ready, in what we call a ready position, most ready positions that I would teach you, hashtag not teaching you, hashtag not legal advice, um, you do what's called a floating ready position. That's very similar to what you see a lot of the times. You'll see somebody very, very simply down here and the gun will be floating. You'll see down here, the gun will be floating, that sort of thing. This is a floating ready position. Now, to get from a ready floating, uh, floating ready position up to a worn or an engage, it's simple as that, right? Now, to get from a sewell, right, I have to da, 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 all right? Now, in kinesiology, what we, uh, what we consider, um, you have to stop doing something to do something, right? As far as your body is concerned, 
if it is doing something, to do something else, you have to disengage the muscles and then re-engage the neural pathways, right? So the Sewell position requires you to disengage. Now, why is this important? Two reasons. One, you teach the Sewell position to people you think are going to shoot everybody on the range. Two, Statistically speaking, after many rounds of analysis, gun firearms trainers have found this. The Sewell position has a higher statistical chance of not delivering first round on target because of the gross motor movements involved of the two axes change with a one and a half to three pound weight at the end of the pendulum. They tend not to be on target. So it's a very disadvantageous position for most professional shooters. But we tend to teach it to cops because cops are so bad with their firearms that they'll shoot people at the range, let alone out in public. So the first thing I see is cops entering the school in Sewell position. Now, let's get to it. Okay. He decides to go out of Sewell position just as Moron McGee, who doesn't know how to put a vest on, decides to take a step forward. Moron McGee in this process, by the way, has swept his foot, swept his leg, comes across this guy's line of, uh, line of uh, sight. This guy decides to check his phone again. He changes hands again, by the way. He wasn't going to do anything at offhand. You can see him spin around to fucking try and get out of that position, right? Like legitimately the entire way through. By the way, he sweeps his fucking hand in the Sewell position as well. Right? And then there's this shit. Like, there's this fucking Benny Hill shit. Oh, yes, Squid. He pointed the gun at his partner multiple times. The, the, the cops in this video sweep each other multiple times. Multiple times. Across the board, multiple times. There, it's not just Dummy McGee, who I'm using as an exemplar here. It's all of them. Right? Look at this. Look at this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is great. He. I'm going to take a step. I'm going to take a step. I'm going to say, oh shit. Yeah, I'm going left. He didn't see him. He's down his scope. Dummy McGee almost forgot to warn his partner that he's going to be in his line of fucking fire. Right? So he steps forward. Fucking, he thinks he's going to pull some Metal Gear uh, solid fucking solid snake shit up here. And he's going to be fucking creeping up and back and forth and stuff like that. He still hasn't gotten his vest on correctly, by the way. He still has not managed to attach this vest correctly. We are uh, fucking, I don't know, how long into this? 11 minutes into this? He legitimately has not been able to get his fucking tack vest attached yet. Right? Wait for it. Wait for it. This is great. This is great. Fucking, hey, I'm 60 years old, overweight by like 40, 50 pounds. How about I get down and do some fucking sneaky, sneaky, solid snake shit? Oh, fuck. I'm like 60, dude. I can't do this. And that's the end of that crawl. Oh, no. Yep. Nope. Fucking still hasn't got his vest on correctly, by the way. Fucking absolutely has not. Right? He's decided he's going to try and take this tack again. Right? Wait for it. Wait for it. He just, he just turns his back to the situation. He just turns his back to the situation. He's still convinced, by the way, he's been shot in the head. He hasn't been. Fucking, he's been convinced he took a round to the fucking back of the head, apparently, this, like, entire time. He, he does this over and over. There's not been blood once on him. Right? fucking no, i mean agony i've gone through this video like i'm 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 a professional fucking firearms trainer i grew up doing this shit i grew up teaching the classes that these assholes get taught right like i i grew up teaching those classes yeah i can just piecemeal this shit fucking there's still they th he thinks he's over there he's not entirely sure he's pretty sure they're fucking well maybe if I oh, what ha 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 they hem and they haw and they sweep and they pop and they fuck this dude's still convinced by the way he's still convinced um he's still checking like it's like dude it's just sweat man you're not bleeding get over it you're just fat 
you're fat and it's Texas. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. See, he has him check. Let him. He has him check. He has another guy check him out. He's still convinced he's fucking bleeding. You didn't get shot, motherfucker. Wait for this. This is great. See this? See this? See this insertion of this rifle? Straight line across the hallway. He just swept three police officers in the attempt to get his rifle around the corner. Head level for that one guy too, by the way. He straight swept him right at head level with a fucking shotgun. No, assault rifle, sorry. Oh, now we've, now we've got, we're staging, we're staging. I'm not kidding you. It takes 35 fucking minutes before they realize they can put somebody at the other side of the hallway. I'm not kidding you. It takes them 35 fucking minutes to figure out what a Call of Duty player would all automatically know. Flank them, dumbass. Oh, shit. Here we are at the other end of the hallway. Looking super casual, by the way. Fucking, but this is when Bortak finally arrives. Right? This is when Bortak is here. Now you start to see the feds show up. You see the border patrol uniforms. This is when Bortak is here. And now they're like, get the fuck out of the way. Get, they're just get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Let us do our fucking jobs. You are useless. Right? Like, I, I'm not fucking rooting for the feds on this one. But, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. It was garbage until the feds showed up and just handled it. Like it's, it's, it's astoundingly bad. Also, so you know, all of them are in line of fire. Everybody who has flanked is in line of fire. Okay, so you can see what's going on down at our end of the hallway. Look what's going on at the other end of the hallway. Look at the body cam. Look at the Gazaway body camera here. 100 percent there are officers uh, there are multiple officers in the line of fire just straight up uvalde 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 the first thing i see is a fat pig cop run in sewl position up Fucking sweep himself multiple times. Sweep fucking people. Everything. Everything. Everything I've ever learned and experienced as a firearms trainer and a firearms owner and the son of an FFL holder and the fucking all this shit. I spent so many hours in this world. So many hours in this world. Every single thing I know went off when I started watching that video. They have been trained in the, the manners that, that trainers teach people who are dangerous. You don't fucking, dude, you don't teach people sewl position unless you're concerned they're gonna shoot somebody. Sewl position is me as a trainer pulling you aside and saying, you're gonna shoot somebody in the back of the head. Right. And then there's all the, uh, yeah, there's all the other stuff. There's the, the, the hand sanitizer, the phone, the conversations, the laughing, the smiling, all of it. There's so much stuff in there, but you need to know about the soul position. You need to know why that was created. You need to know what its function is. Its function is to prevent fucking pig cops from shooting fellow pig cops in the back of the fucking dome because they're so bad with their firearms. Multiple cops in that video assume the Sewell position. I want to talk to the trainers. I want to talk to the firearms trainers who taught Uvalde. I want to know what's up. Because I'm betting I know what the conversation looks like. I, uh, Dude, I know trainers. I know firearms training. I was one, right? Like 100% know what that conversation would be like. So what was that class like? Oh my God, they were bad. Really? Yeah. No, dude. We just ended up teaching him Sewell position and fuck it. Like, yeah.
Popo's Bizarre Adventures, everyone. Hope you had fun.